Welcome to this prayer. This is a prayer I put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon is touching you will surely do. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the person I'm praying for who desires this prayer to you. Father, you are their physician. You are their healer. Their eyes are on you whenever they come in contact with sickness or injury, personally or for others. Together in agreement, we speak strength, restoration, and healing over their mind and body right now In Jesus' name. Your word says that Jesus took their infirmities and bore their sicknesses in Isaiah chapter 53. He went to the cross and suffered immensely on their behalf. When the price was completely paid, he said, It is finished. He died and rose again, resurrected by your mighty Holy Spirit. It is through his life, death, and resurrection that healing, forgiveness, deliverance, eternal life, and so much more, belongs to the person I am praying for. By Jesus' stripes, they are healed. Thank you that through your Son, they can step into your presence and receive a touch from you. They raise their hands in praise and adoration to you. All that they are is yours. They present themselves, fresh and new, in this prayer to you. As it says in Romans chapter 12, They present themselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, which is their reasonable service. It's the very least they can do for all that you have done for them. Holy Spirit, please lead and guide them to live as healthy as they can. They want to look after the body and mind they have been given. They don't want to mistreat or abuse them in any way. In agreement, we bind any abnormalities in their mind and body. We bind any sickness or disease in their mind and body and rebuke it. We curse all the works of the devil and command them to leave them in Jesus' name. We loose them now from all physical affliction. We decree and declare that divine healing belongs to them and that the very life of Christ is being made manifest in their body, as 2 Corinthians 4, verse 10 says, Lord, Teach them your ways to living a blessed and healed life. You live inside them. They want to take proper care of their body, which is the temple of your Holy Spirit. The heart of the person I'm praying for is that they want to glorify you in every way, including physically. They are your handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which you prepared in advance for them to do. They must be healthy to fully complete this. In Jesus' name, lead them across the path of people who will offer godly and good advice on health if there's anything they need to do or stop doing practically. Grant them discipline and strength to bring their body into subjection. Help them to find and discover healing through the scriptures. As they spend time in your word, help them to meditate on and plant healing promises in their heart. As they plant these healing seeds, you will bring about a marvelous harvest of healing. You live in them, and they want to keep their body healthy, clean, and protected. They look to you, Lord, to help them make smart choices in order to maintain healthy habits. Thank you, Jehovah Rapha. Praise you, for you are their healer. The person I'm praying for is forever grateful that you sent your word and healed them. We believe and receive everything we've prayed and give you glory in advance for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.